Oh, I'm are coming you? for a hug. I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed had you to put up with much. Mark for ages. Oh, I'm you know. sorry about that. Um, great to have you back. <laughs> Good to be back. We're going to find out more about where you've been and what you're doing and where you're going soon. But what are we going to be making today, boys? Well, we're doing chicken because it's Rangatiki Chicken Week, so we've got a whole chicken to kick it off. And this is one of Tim's recipes, and it's uh, we've got a pineapple, pineapple and sage couscous. Ooh, well. Ooh that sounds awesome. Pineapple way. Yeah, no, that's no, that sounds fascinating. I'm into <laughs> that. I quite like my pineapple. No, oh, no, good. chicken and pineapple, that's good. Ch yeah, uh, pineapple on pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and also great to have you back, Tim Reed. So, what have Thank you been you. up to since you've been away? Uh, just European adventure. Yeah, I can tell. Look who's yeah. come back, all European looking. You <laughs> well, know. I look like Steve Jobs. It's you actually not too far away. <laughs> right, well, uh, you might have been making just as much money as him too with your gallivanting around the world, <laughs> chefing away, but we'll find out more about that. It is Chicken Week, my favourite week of the year. Chicken Week, I love chicken. Rangatike free-range chicken is what we're using. Different recipes each day. And what have you decided to do with your Rangatike free-range chicken? Well, we're going to roast it whole with some kumara, Pineapple and Mark's just doing some onions. Right. Uh, so we'll throw this in the. the old pan. controversial pineapple, eh? Yeah, I know. Mm. Yep. Some people do hate it, eh? And I can understand why. <laughs> I'm not too keen on it in burgers. <laughs> yeah, 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 fair enough. I heard there was a bit of a um, spaghetti pizza kind of incident. Yes. While I've been away. The ex Prime it's Minister. Not, yeah. Uh, Bill English. Not as controversial as this, but. <laughs> No, yeah. I don't know. You might be getting some headlines going here. Look at that chicken. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so right. you just put the juices in as well Honestly, with the pineapple? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I don't do too difficult at the moment, Mike. <laughs> Clearly this European <laughs> thing's rubbed off on you. <laughs> so we're just going to throw everything in there. I'll try yep. not to get cut by Mark. And, uh, and we're just going to throw that in the oven with some oil and roast it until it's cooked. Nice. It's going to take maybe 45 minutes. OK, well, look, we'll let Mark do all the hard work. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. chat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> totally. You just keep chopping there, Mark, mate. Oh, no, I'm okay. all good. OK, good work. Um, he's like my sous chef. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so where have you been? What was your favourite restaurant to work at recently? Uh, so I spent probably the majority of my time based up around Favikin. Uh, OK. Yeah, and working. They also did a pop-up for a few months. So right. I helped work there. That's in kind of middle northern Sweden, really cold. Right. No, really fun. Loved it. And I've heard a bit about that. It's quite famous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you've ever seen Chef's Table... Ah, uh, that's the one. That's yep. right. Yeah, yep. cool. It'll be on there. And is it true that people pay, you know, like $700 for a, you know, three-course meal? Yeah, I there? think it's around that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, not three-course. It's more like 32-course. Oh, OK, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, so you get a few more money. bites of it. Yeah, bites for money there. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Feed you Go for down a week. And have lunch and dinner. Bargain. <laughs> 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 nice work. Um, and, and so now you're home. Are you home for good or what's uh, happening? Home for three months nice. and then uh, heading over to Oslo. Nice. Restaurant over there. Nice. OK, so Mark, what are you doing? So we've got a bit of the pineapple juice as well, which we're yeah. putting on, which that's yep. going to sort of help glaze around the chicken and flavour it and sweeten the kumara. So it's going to be fantastic. That's going to go in the oven. And then we've got some couscous to make in a minute. Nice. And did you season, season, season? I know I did season, 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 because nice. that is very important. It is very important. Um, OK, so have you been home to see your mum in Lower Hutt yet? Yeah, honestly, she owns a cafe right. down in Lower Hutt. Oh, what's, the it, what's it called? Day, are we doing a plug? Yeah, do a plug for <laughs> it. Shine Cafe, Lower Hutt. There you Hutt. go. Shine yeah. Cafe, Lower Hutt. Yeah. You're going to be working in there the tomorrow. very next day I arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Off oh, welcome home to the cafe. Off to work. Family, eh? Okay, cool. So, okay, so right, back to our chicken, chicken week. Is this all we're doing with it? Yeah, we're yeah. going to get it in the oven and cook it. I mean, this is it. This is a really simple recipe. You know, he's been working 18 hours a day. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so going to come he, home. You know, he doesn't want to come home and spend another two hours in the kitchen. Hey, you know? plus good chicken. Don't need to do a lot. Yeah, hey, that's right. Welcome, Ranga Tiki. That's the, 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 there. you go. Yeah. So pretty much get the chicken right. Just chuck a bit of pineapple and kumara in, and you're away laughing. Is that pretty much it? It's <laughs> basically. It's a bit so more than that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, no, no, it's all good. No, I know it's all about the flavours. It's all about the balance. This You'll is quite exciting. Mike. I will? Yeah. OK, good. Do you reckon I will, Mark? You will. You OK, will. nice. It'll be he's, awesome. He's got my back nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you just give me a hard time. Put the chicken in the oven because it's Rangatike Chicken Week. And Tim Reid, uh, although that was, you know, fairly, fairly simple to get underway, this is where it all starts coming together with the couscous, isn't it? That's it. Right, yeah. OK. <laughs> so You'd like to think so. Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> OK, so what sort of couscous are we using? Uh, so we have Israeli couscous, which okay. is the thicker kind. We yes. usually get around the pick and mix kind of pile. Right. Uh, so we're just going to pop that in the, in the pot. Right. Uh, and we're going to brown it slightly, much like you would with, uh, with a risotto rice. It's just going to help starch it up. Oh, OK. 
Um, I was like, do you need some water or something? No, no, we're okay. I think. Okay, nice. Yeah, you just tell me if it goes on fire. <laughs> okay, I will. If I want you got any more tips? Okay, <laughs> sweet. You're in the right place. Uh, what about you, Mark? What are you up to over there? All right, well, so we're going to finish the dish with some sage. Yes. So beautiful, beautiful herb. I'm going to let you smell it because you've got a cold. Yeah. But smell that. It's absolutely oh, yeah. fantastic. It's great. I love sage. It goes really well with chicken. Wow. And really well with sweet things as well. So the pineapple. So it's just really going to bring the, um, mm. uh, the sweetness out of the pineapple and give it a nice sort of like fruity, uh, fragrant taste. Nice work. Shop. Okay, I'll just pass. I'm just going to chop that. <laughs> we've got some pine nuts as well. So yep. we're going to toast. Are we going to toast them? Yeah, yeah. But we'll put the, we'll toast them separately and we'll finish off the yeah, couscous. Okay, well, while we're looking at the couscous, then um, what we can do is find out about your trip overseas. So, obviously, some great restaurants you worked at. Yes. What did you notice about the food experience over there? Because they, you know, they got different tastes. Yeah, Anything totally. That, the, the, you know, that sort of struck you? I, I was quite surprised. They're quite dairy heavy. You know, I've always thought New Zealanders being quite dairy heavy right but then you go over there it's and the there's cafe. milk yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's milk cream butter and you know literally everything wow but they're quite clever with the use of preserves uh pickling and and they add the acid so you know you eat this big creamy hearty meal that feels like you need to sit in the bathroom for a week well there you but go then you have this uh, acidic component to it and it kind of cuts through it all and makes you feel light and fluffy and Nice. You're okay. Now, I, I just want to point out too, obviously all that fine dining has been very balanced <laughs> because you've lost a bit of weight. Yeah. Not that you were, you know, overweight when I no, saw you last. Honest, I was a bit tubby when I left. But, uh, <laughs> What's your secret? Because I'd like to slim down a little bit more. I can hardly do my jacket up I was anymore. working some pretty long hours. Is that what it is? Uh, I was I'll work stressed out. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I didn't say it. You did. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so couscous, is that brown enough? Is that yeah, so is? you can start to see some golden speck. You don't want to burn it because mm -hmm. we don't want the bitter taste of burnt anything in there. Yep. Uh, so this is chicken stock and we're just going to pour that in. Nice. You can hear the sizzle. Yeah. We can. Bubbling Burn away. myself. But that's alright. And we're just going to pour all the chicken stock in. Mm -hmm. And that's going to take maybe 15 to 20 minutes to kind of absorb. This type of couscous is actually a type of pasta. So you okay. cook it as though you, you would pasta. Don't be too scared of it. It's going to absorb it all in. Nice. Um, and then towards the end we're going to add the roasted caramelised sweet components which are going to combine nicely as Mark said with the sage and yeah. the chicken and uh, yeah she'll Beautiful. be Beautiful. Okay now um, before we wrap this up what, where are you going next year after you've been here for a you know bit of a break do you yeah. go where? Uh, heading towards Oslo in and what Norway. are you doing there? Yeah, uh, got a job trial in a, in a fine dining restaurant over there. Right. So going to give it a nudge and nice. see how we go. OK, job trial. So yeah. he'll be back in about seven months. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm just joking. I'm just wiping yeah, you good up. Good to know I've got your... Uh, no, your no, well, I was just going to say, I've been using your recipe book, actually. Yeah. Get together? Yeah. Is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> um, no, I do. I get it off the shelf and I, I use it quite a bit. Great, great recipe book. You That's are fine. a fun chef. You have a good time with us and I'm really looking forward to this. Is this all we need to do in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Okay. Tim could come back. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like you on the recipe. Okay. Chicken time. Rangai Tiki Chicken Week. And are you happy with this, Tim? Yeah, I think Mark did a good job. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, great having you, Tim, by the Thank way. You Welcome for having home. Me.